Hello friends, in this video we will see how to draw a cycloid. But before that, we must understand what is the cycloid. So let's see the definition of cycloid. Cycloid is the locus of a point on the circumference of a rolling circle which rolls without slipping or sliding along a fixed straight line. The rolling circle here is called generating circle and the straight line is called directing line. Let's understand the definition with an example. Let's imagine that a wheel of a certain diameter is rolling on a straight horizontal road without slipping or skidding. Let us consider any point on a circumference of a wheel. Here we will consider a point at the bottom of a wheel and look at the path traced out by that point for one complete revolution of a wheel. So, this path is a curve and we will call it as the cycloid. However, in this situation, point is located at the bottom of a wheel. Let's now see the shape of the cycloid when point is located at the top of a wheel. And here we have another cycloid. Note that the cycloid will have m kind of a shape wherever the point is considered on the circumference of a wheel. Now let's have a look at the problem statement. Draw a cycloid of a circle having diameter 50 mm. Let's see how to draw. First up, draw a circle of a given diameter. Here it's 50 mm. Then Divide the circle into 8 equal parts. Take any point on a circumference of a circle, preferably the bottommost point, and let's name it as P. Let's assume that circle is rolling in a clockwise direction without skidding. In one revolution of a circle, the horizontal distance traveled will be equal to the circumference of a circle that is 157 mm. So, let's draw a horizontal line tangent to the circle at its bottommost point P and of course, the length of the line will be 157 mm. Now, let's name the end point of a line as P dash. And next, divide a line P P dash into 8 equal parts. Note that we are dividing line PP dash into 8 equal parts since we have divided a circle into 8 equal parts. Means we must divide a circle and a distance traveled by a circle into same number of parts. Let's name the points on a line as 1 dash, 2 dash, 3 dash, 4 dash up to 7 dash. And name the points on the circumference of a circle as 1, 2, 3, 4, up to 7. Note that for our simplicity, we have decided to name the points on a circumference of a circle in anticlockwise direction. Here we have applied a logic while naming the points on the circumference of a circle, which is when circle will roll in a clockwise direction, the first point on the circumference of a circle which will make a contact with the ground that will be point number 1. And then 2. 3 and so on. So that is the reason we have given the names to the points on the circumference of a circle as 1, 2, 3, 4 up to 7 in anticlockwise direction. Next, draw horizontal lines from all the points on the circumference of a circle. Then draw vertical lines from points 1 dash, 2 dash, 3 dash up to P dash. And we have to extend these lines up to the horizontal line which is passing through the center of circle. Name the point of intersection of all vertical lines with the horizontal center line as C1, C2, C3, C4 up to C7. Alright, the next step is very crucial. Take a compass and then Take a distance in a compass equal to the radius of a circle. Here it is 25 mm. Then take center C1 
and cut an arc on a horizontal line which is passing through one. Here sometimes students do a mistake while plotting the point. As here we can see we have two possible positions of plotting a point. One is to the left of C1 and another is to the right of C1. However, only one position is correct. If we plot a point to the right, then our curve will have this shape, which is incorrect. We have already seen cycloid is a curve of this shape. So the correct position of point is to the left of C1 and name that point as P1. Now, with same distance in a compass, which is the radius of a circle, in fact, while locating all points, the distance in a compass will be same all the time, which is radius of a circle. Only the centers to cut and arcs will get changed. Like initially center was C1 and now it will be C2. And we will cut an arc on a line which is passing through 2. And let's name that point as P2. Keep in mind the final shape of a curve we will have and mark the point at correct position. Do this for rest of the points with centers C3, C4, C5, C6 and C7 by cutting an arc on the lines which are passing through 3, 4, 5, 6 and 7 respectively. Connect all the points from P, P1, P2 up to P dash. And here we have our curve. Let's name the curve as cycloid.